Good morning. So this isn't the video I was going to upload to YouTube today, but I decided to change things around. One, because it's been an absolutely crazy weekend. If you haven't seen iJustine's Vlog University, check it out in the description. I actually worked on that video and edited it, so that was pretty exciting. So I'm very tired. It's a long weekend. Also, if the audio sounds like absolute trash rubbish, it's because my microphone, I left it in Armando's possession. So this is EOS R in cam audio, so you're welcome. Anyways, I wanted to make a video about the EOS R5. Why now? Canon, seriously, why now? Why are we suddenly getting such a crazy camera today when in the past we've kind of gotten lackluster cameras from Canon, not to say that they weren't good quality. Of course, the colors were amazing and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But there was just so many issues with like weird cropping or weird frame rates or, you know, Canon things. Canon always does these weird things. So if you don't know about the Canon EOS R5, I'll just quickly give you a brief overview of what that looks like. And then I will quickly go into, this is a short video. I'm going to quickly go into why I think through other speculations and rumors on why we're suddenly getting much higher uh, performance out of these Canon cameras. So yeah, interesting stuff. I'm gonna read it off my phone because I'm tired. All right, so the EOS R5 is going to have a, supposedly, of course these are all rumors. Let me just, these are rumors, it's not official, but it's supposedly going to have a 45 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor. That's exciting. Uh, with IBIS, it's going to be five stops of IBIS internally. And then if you have a lens, you're gonna get upwards of seven to eight, which is insane. The stabilization on the Canon lenses are already insane. So in body image stabilization to back that up is going to be very nice. It's going to have some photography specs that I don't care about, but it's 12 uh, frames per second mechanical, 20 electronic. Uh, they're going to add a scroll wheel to the back. Yay, no touch bar. I hate the touch bar. I still haven't programmed the touch bar on my EOS R that I'm talking to you on right now because I don't care. Let's see, what else does it have? Large capacity battery, great. Uh, here's the weird stuff, 8K 30 frames per second raw. Uh, it doesn't say internal or external on the rumor site. I'm getting this from canonwatch.com. The rumors are all over the place, so if you're interested, you can look that up yourself. But 8K uh, out of a mirrorless body, a Canon EOS R size body, that's peculiar. 4K 120 frames per second, 4K 60. Would have been cool if they did like a 6K 60, um, if these specs are true, but whatever. And um, yeah, supposedly it's coming out in July of 2020. So this is weird to me. Okay, so this is supposedly maybe the EOS R Pro is what we were calling it, or EOS R Mark II or whatever we were calling it in the past. This is now the, it's called the EOS R5. And the thing is, is like, why are we getting from a 4K crop that can't even do 4K 60 on the EOS R, and now suddenly we're able to do 8K 30 frames per second raw and 4K 120 frames per second. It doesn't really make too much sense. However, uh, I've done some digging and I've actually gotten some insider information from uh, a gentleman over at NAB last year about this kind of topic. And really it comes down, supposedly these are rumors to sensor technology and how Canon has been using old sensor technology for pretty much the better part of 12 years. So what's the deal? Well, supposedly uh, the reason why suddenly they're doing so much better is because they're finally giving us new sensor technology. If you don't know, Canon actually makes the majority of their own camera sensors. They don't get it from Sony like a whole bunch of other people do. So they've pretty much just kind of been in their own little bubble and they've basically supposedly for inventory reasons have just been utilizing old technology and that's why the, uh, the cameras haven't seemed to advance very fast on the Canon side compared to, for instance, like Sony. Sony's been giving us better specs, uh, whereas Canon hasn't. So suddenly now Canon's coming out of the gate swinging with these insane, insane specs, and now Sony is nowhere to be heard. So I don't really know what's going on. These are all rumors. This isn't even like a video saying anything particular other than just getting information out there about potentially why Canon is suddenly doing better specs. Um, I hope they continue to do this. 
the reason, and I'm actually getting some of this information as well from a uh, German article that has been translated through Google Translate into English, so I don't know how true this is, but basically the need for camera sensors in like traditional photo and video cameras has diminished because of phones. And therefore, Canon hasn't been able to put as much money into R&D, and that's why they were also staying away from innovating too much because they couldn't invest as much money into R&D, and that's why we've been using old technology for so long. But supposedly, right now, there's going to be a refresh, so we're going to potentially see, which does seem like it with the 1DX Mark III and now the R5, almost like a uh, renaissance or a uh, revival in the uh, Canon sensor technology, so that's pretty exciting. But if history has anything to say about it, this is going to be short-lived. We're gonna get some really awesome Canon cameras and then they're gonna to start to fall behind again just because of uh, technology and the money that they can invest into R&D. Again, these are just rumors. I just wanted to make this video because I thought it was interesting and there's really no other reason than that. Uh, happy Sunday, hope you enjoy the Super Bowl. And as always, thanks for hanging. That's it.